Okay, so Devontae, what inspired you to get started with the brand? Um, just the vision that I had. You know, I, I, um, I took my idea to another company, a bigger company, a bigger tech company. Um, and they liked the idea. They, they, you know, they started the whole production and everything, but during the middle of it, you know, we couldn't um, come to the fine terms, like, you know, the end of everything. So we were going back and forth about how we could make it work and how we could figure it out to make both sides happy. And at the end of the day, nothing got done, so I just took my idea my own way with it, you know, decided I was going to invest in myself, start my own Okay, so what was one of the hardest transitions when you were going in, you thought you had a big company behind you, and then you had to go off on your own? What was one of the hardest things? I think the, um, I think starting from ground zero is the hardest thing, because you don't have nobody behind you to show you, nobody to teach you, nobody to hold your hand through the many mistakes you're going to make. I think that's was, that was the, the biggest transition to really sit down and think about how I was going to get it done. Because I knew I wanted to do it, but I just didn't know how I was going to get it done. And I wasn't naive to the fact that I didn't know anything about starting anything. But I knew I, I knew I knew how to read, and I knew I knew how to comprehend, so it wasn't difficult to pick up something and learn you know, on the flat and everything. Because that's like, that's like one of my greatest strengths. I can figure everything out as I go. So I really don't... I really don't be having time to really get upset or depressed if something don't go my way. I just go on to the next thing and just figure it out. Well, congratulations with everything. I follow you on Instagram. I follow the page on Instagram. So I've seen that you guys are doing big things. You have pop-up shops. Um, I saw members of G-Unit wearing the hats as well. So yeah. you're doing pretty good. How does yeah. that make you feel? Um, it, it's a good feeling because, you know, when I first started, um, even with the vision, I had no idea that it would grow like it grew. I always just thought it would be like me and a couple of my friends just wearing it. But I looked up and it's people from all over, you know, wearing the hats. And they shop it out and they really like supporting everything, you know, that I'm doing with the brand and everything. Um, it's, a, it's just a, it's a good feeling because it's unexpected. You know, I didn't. If I was, if I was. If I knew what I was getting into before I actually got into it, and I was like, oh, I knew I was going to do this, I knew I was going to do that, but it's still shocking. Like, I still can't believe that I'm doing any of the stuff that I'm doing because a lot of people that, nobody that I know really does stuff like this. Mm -hmm. So it's just different. And what advice do you have for, you know, other young business owners or people who are trying to start a business? What advice do you have for them? <clears throat> you gotta, you gotta stay focused, you gotta be committed. You gotta understand that you're gonna go some days hungry because you don't have no way to eat. You gotta understand that everything not gonna go the way you initially planned it. You gotta be prepared to struggle, to fight, to cry, to get frustrated. But the main thing you can't you can't quit. You, know, you gotta keep going. You gotta keep pressing. Because a lot of people get to that point where it's just like, man, it's just too overwhelming. You know, you're doing it all, not all by yourself, but you know, the just that the job is done by you. Because it's your business, it's your company, so you're doing all the work. But, you know, if you, if you really stay focused, and stay consistent, and know that you're going to get through it, and that's what, you know, that's what helps you overcome, you know, those mountains and stuff.